Hi guys, today's topic is how does suspension influence your ground handling and running with the paramotor. The influence is surprisingly significant. Welcome to my classroom. This is part seven of the insights into paramotor geometry. With more than 30 videos, we will cover every aspect of paramotor design and construction. And by the end of this, you will be able to decide what is the best paramotor for you. There are a few things how suspension influences your ground handling ability and running with the paramotor. That is reach for the glider controls, ground clearance, and your posture. By reaching for the glider controls, I'm not only referring to the brake toggles, I'm also talking about pulling the ace on the reverse takeoff, uh, pulling the ace on a forward takeoff, and reaching for the brakes and risers during the final run on takeoff. With a paramotor with high suspension, your controls, A's, D's and the brake toggles are positioned way high both when you pull the reverse or you do the final run on takeoff. The best position is on a low suspension system because all your controls are located pretty low. You have good reach for them, you have good control, you have good visibility. Uh, with the low suspension paramotor the controls are pretty much in the same position as with a paragliding harness. The higher the paramotor is on your back, the more clearance you have to the ground or to your heels. With a lot of clearance, you're able to run fast, you, you are able to do long, quick steps and achieve higher speed on takeoff. Uh, also on landing or ground handling, if the clearance to the ground is higher, there's a lower chance to hit the ground with the paramotor, just in case you make a, you slip a little or do a wrong step. Now with the uh, high suspension and the medium suspension systems, the paramotor is pretty high on your back. Ob obviously, it depends also on the harness geometry, but if done well, you have enough clearance. With a low suspension paramotor, the cage is positioned way lower. Uh, the reason for that, we have explained in the previous video. Now there is a higher chance uh, the paramotor will hit your heels while running fast or hit the ground on some small wrong steps. So the third thing that influences your ground handling and running ability is your posture with the paramotor on your back. Obviously you cannot stand upright with a heavy load on your back because if the center of gravity of the paramotor it falls behind your heels, it would pull you backwards. You need to lean forward to get the center of gravity of the paramotor above your heels. That means from here to here, and then you are very stable. Now it's a lot more easier when the load is positioned high on your back because then it's enough to lean just a little. This is what mountaineers do when they load their backpack. They try to position the heavy objects in the backpack high so it's enough to lean forward a little. When the load is positioned lower, let's take the extreme position with the low suspension system, the paramotor is down here and you need to lean a lot more to get it here. You see the angle is pretty like twice as much as on a high suspension paramotor. Now, let's see the correct posture. With a paramotor that is hanging low on your back, you need to lean forward the most to get the center of gravity above your heels. Intuitively, just by looking at these pictures, you will see that running and ground handling with these two, with these two paramotors, it's obviously easier than with the low suspension one. So let's do the final summary now. We have a traditional lineup of our suspension systems. So reach for the glider control is the best with low suspension, 
good with the medium bars and uh, the glider controls are too high with the high suspension systems. Now, this is pretty important. Reaching for glider control is crucial for takeoff. Ground clearance, the best with uh, high suspension and medium as the paramotor is positioned pretty much in the same level. And least ground clearance uh, is with the low suspension systems. Now, pilot's posture is good with high and medium suspension systems and uh, most demanding with uh, low suspension systems. So overall, uh, for ground handling, the medium suspension system is the best and you need to do some compromises for the low and the high suspension systems. Should you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for sharing and next time we talk about comfort in the air in flight. So see you soon, bye.